I'm always wondering when an actor uh, takes a part that is so challenging and so mm -hmm. kind of dangerous, how to apprehend that, how to go for it, this extreme and to go this far? Well, uh, I you... I, you have a lot of the, 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 there's the director there's your own sort of instincts as an actor of what what the role requires and there's also just a lot of preparation in 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 because this role especially there was the physical pain there was the emotional pain and then there was just all so all of that trying to incorporate all of that was I mean for me it was extraordinarily creatively challenging and exciting and 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 I had a wonderful coach for who, who helped me with a lot of, uh, in, in helping me explore the different areas of the character and wonderful doctors that I spoke to, people suffering from chronic pain and depression and addiction. I mean, it's it's, I learned quite a deal about the the chronic pain community. Did you arrive on set uh, knowing that you were going to do something that you've never done before and that were going to push you to your limits? Uh, yeah, I knew. I knew when I read the script. If if I was able to get the, I mean, it was offered to someone else, so I couldn't. I, I was sort of waiting until the window of opportunity happened, and that that sort of played itself out. And I knew that if I got this, it would be for me something I've been dying to do. I mean, versions of this have come and gone, and I'm just not the go-to actor, you know, for 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 roles like this. But I get that. Um, so I was just really, it, it was like a dream role. Of course, there's a lot of preparation, but other actors prepare. And then other actors uh, talk to a to real uh, chronic pain patient or whatever the part is. Uh, but there's something else, there's something different. And uh, I wonder, how did you know that you were going to be able to be Claire and to become her? I didn't. I didn't know. I was really, you know, I knew I was going to be doing something that was really gonna challenge myself and I I think once I, I I got into my own work that I was my own preparation and my own homework I really felt like I knew what I was I know I know what I, I have to do and I was ready to go I was ready to probably shoot five weeks before we started shooting I was just I was really ready we'd been I've been working for just studying for so long how would you define her how would you describe her I She's think a very unhappy person. She's stuck. She's a woman who's stuck and who is pretty angry at the world and at herself and um, and is is I think struggling with moving on and moving forward and healing herself because I feel that she will she thinks she would disappoint or she's forgetting what what it is that that happened and she doesn't feel the guilt is too much. So you know, we're, 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 we meet her trying to really make a decision of whether to live or die. Did you meet a lot of people like her to prepare? I met quite a few. I mean, I met the amount of people. I have friends who are suffer, suffer with chronic pain, and unfortunately, and it's devastating. Um, addicts, obviously, and uh, wonderful doctors that were extremely informative. I mean, just understanding the psychopharmacologist who was so helpful helping me understand what is Oxycontin? What is that mixed with alcohol, mixed with Vicodin, mixed? I mean, there was such, she was really serving herself quite a cocktail. I remember when I was a kid and I didn't want to go to gym class or piano lesson or whatever, I lied to my mom and I said, I had a headache and I can go and I watched being in comedy. But at the end of the day, I really had a headache. You did? <laughs> yeah. I wonder uh, when you play someone that is uh, feeling so much pain, at the end of the day, do you feel some pain or is there like oh, yeah. identification I, with I'm her? feeling pain now. I, I mean, mean, honestly, you, you, I would have to have body work every weekend just because of the... I mean, when you move in that way for, for you know, five days a week, six days a week, it, it starts to affect your body physically, for sure. That means you were this, like this? Yeah. When you were like, mm -hmm. hmm. How, how did you learn that? How did you become that? Physically? Yeah. Well, I just f tried to figure out what was, what was broken in the body and what, what didn't work, and pretty much it was everything. So there wasn't pretty much any move that she took that wasn't, didn't cause some kind of, of pain, even... Even her breathing was was painful to take a deep breath. Her the voice kind of went into a lower register and all that. How to, do you do you uh, approach each of the relationship of Claire in the in the movie? In the movie, I think she well, I think 
with Sam's character, she's she's at first trying to be someone she's not. Uh, with Adriana, I mean, she's just her her lifeline, you know, her 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 angel um, and savior, pretty much. And then with uh, Chris, there's the history of Chris, and and I mean, Chris Messina, the husband. There's there's just all the different relationships that that you play. Did you hesitate in any way before taking it? I mean, with all the physical transformation and the... Uh... Not even one minute. Really? Nope. And I was ready. And what was your reaction when you saw your face for the first time on screen? I mean, with the scars and everything. That was pretty... I mean, I, I kind of thought it was sort of beautiful, the scars. After a while, I, I felt they told such a story and I, I kind of felt they were beautiful. <laughs> It seems to be very difficult to uh, uh, to have these kind of movies now, to have what I call the, the middle movies, the mm. dramas, uh, the, the one I like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it the same for, for, do you see that? Do you see difficulties to find movies like this ones? Oh yeah, I think it's, I think it's hard. It's also really hard to be, get yourself to be cast in one. Um, if you're someone who is, you know, as I, I, I think I battle a persona or a, or a you know, that that sometimes is hard to disappear from and and so i think why a movie like this is so welcomed and exciting when they happen is that i can i can really just have an opportunity to just kind of disappear you like that ah, i love that yeah yeah uh, do you get a lot of offers i mean after good girl i suppose that there was a lot of stuff coming up and you did a, I remember the movie was still there and i really like it management 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 yeah uh, um, do you get a lot of those? Well, they always come. They're, I've been lucky to go back and forth from from independence to, to to the big, to the big movies, and and I feel really lucky, you know, with management, friends with money, or um, even Life of Crime. They're just sort of going off, going into a little different genre, and I I feel it's important to have the balance of the two because one, you know, is so. I mean, as we know, uh, independents are, are are allow for a little bit more of that creativity and, and creative expression than, say, something that's, ha that's appealing to the masses. You know what I mean? And the thing is that the masses love this kind of stuff. They, they, they really want to get something different. How come does uh, uh, the studios or Hollywood, or wanna, how, how you want to call it, don't do more of those? I mean, of these kind of movies. Kind of movies? I don't know. I think it's just a phase, honestly. I think, uh, I hopefully, feel that people are, are starting to realize, I mean, even with still Alice, you know, who wants to see a movie about Alzheimer's or who wants to see a movie about chronic pain or who wants to see a movie about some girl hiking through the woods. I mean, but these are stories, these are human experiences. And I think the more these movies get made, the more people are going to be fed intellectually and be fed emotionally. And not that there's going to be no room for a big, bold, funny comedy, because those are great and we need those too. Um, I just think the more we get to see them and the more there's an appetite for them, the more we'll, the studios will start to make them. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey You Guys!